another edition of the new ND Nation Radio. We're going inside them. We're going outside them. Inside them, outside them. And when we get them on the run once, we're going to keep them on the run. And Notre Dame, as number one goes down, Syracuse undefeated the Lord. This is now top-notch college hockey. Everything here at Notre Dame has been done on faith and a commitment to excellence. You are Notre Dame. You are special. You're going to impart some wisdom or some tips on the guys coming in. Um, I would probably say... Stay on top of your academics. North County broke free at the 30, 35, 40. The Rocket is going to do it again. And you're also going to walk out of here with a degree from the University of Notre Dame. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. You know, this play like a champion sign. Rocket Ishmael's touched many times. Jerome Bettis has touched many times. You know, the best stadium, the best stadium you play in, I want to say Notre Dame. We're going to get them on the run. We're going to go, 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 go. And we aren't going to stop until we go to that goal line. Don't forget, men, today is a day we're going to win. All right, guys, let's go ahead and welcome Tyler and Nate from the Leprechaun Legion. Guys, thanks for joining us. How are you doing, Tim? Good, man. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad to have you. We're glad to be a part of that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, Mike, I'll have, I'll just have two quick questions for you, and I know that uh, Jason and Steve had a few questions for you guys, so I'll pass it on to them. My first question is, so with this week being Senior Day and the big honor, are we going to see a dantly big head in the student section? Yes, we're definitely going to have one of those. As, you know, as well as the normal host of big heads, we tend to get Tim Abramidis out there and Scott Martin. Definitely on senior night, they'll be out there. But um, we should have a pretty good crowd for it. Can we get one of me, Jason, and Steve? People will look at it like, who the heck is that? But I think it could be interesting. You know, I think it would be great. They would. It would certainly distract the team that they probably couldn't stop looking at. Touche. Touche. I get that. But uh, my other question, more serious tan here uh, before I pass you on again. Um, how did you guys get this whole thing started? I mean, the Leprechaun Legion has taken a life of its own. I mean, I'm seeing athletes retweet you guys. Your name's getting out there. Uh, what was the process in this getting started? Sure. So as a lot of a lot of fans know, the Legion started off as a basketball group, and we just had a lot of success with the Legion as a basketball group and felt uh, basketball shouldn't get all the attention. There's a lot of sports here and felt that we could – spread that success along to other sports. And uh, slowly and surely, we've been spreading word about it. And as you said, we've gotten some athlete support from it, which is great. And uh, that's been that's been helping us spread the word of supporting all the sports, and we're slowly growing the atmosphere for fans. Awesome. Well, Pastor my co-host Steve, you know, he has a few things he wants to talk to you about. But thanks again, guys. We're really looking forward to hearing from you, and uh, thanks for joining us again. Yep, thanks Thank for you. having us. All right, uh, my first question for you guys was, I'll go ahead and give this one to Tyler. Uh, if you set out a goal per week on the average school week right now, how many different sporting events do you try and at least have one or two members at? You know, we try to get to almost all of them when possible. Um, it can get tricky since college sports are generally concentrated on weekends. Um, there's often multiple events at the same time. For instance, this, for instance, this weekend we have track and field, men and women's tennis, fencing championships, and a hockey game all on Saturday. Now, we try to get the Legion to have a presence at all of the events, but naturally we'll have better turnouts at some than others. Um, I wouldn't say it's uncommon to attend anywhere from five upward a weekend, depending on what season we're in. Um, we're going to have great turnouts tonight, or I mean this weekend, at uh, men's basketball, hockey being in the CCHA uh, playoffs, but we're certainly going to try and get bring, uh Big turnouts for the men and women's tennis, both playing number three, Duke, and number two, Ohio State, respectively. Well, guys, uh, Steve's call actually just dropped. Let me see if I can take over here real quick. Just one second. We're having a bunch of technical difficulties today. I really apologize for everything, guys. Not a problem. All right. Well, here we go. Um, you know, we have that. Uh, what are you, Do you guys have any big possible plans this, uh, coming up for the uh, the blue-gold game? 
Yeah, actually we do. We uh, we plan on, number one, having a Legion tailgate for the students to come out to, and uh, we hope we hope that would be a lot of fun and be well attended and uh, get that spirit up for the game. Uh, we're also hoping to get a good sh- uh, turnout for the shirt unveiling, and uh, we, we know that there's a lot of hard work put into those shirts by the students on the uh, shirt committee and the design there, and we're pretty excited to see what they've come up with for this year. So we definitely want to get behind that and tell the students to come out for the unveiling and see the new design. TV back on? Back here. I'm sorry, guys. We, got, we had more in Idaho than we have the whole year, so I guess a little fritzy out here. Um, okay. You just mentioned the shirt. Um, that's one of my big questions. There's been a kind of a big Twitter thing going on with the outcry and kind of the want to unify and try and have the shirt the same exact so the people, not just the people in the left legion, but the fans can come to the game and everyone can be in one color. So do you have any thoughts on that? You know, the legion really doesn't want to – we want to let the shirt committee do its thing. They do a great job of each year creating something new. And regardless of what color it is, it's great to have the students – in one color. It's, it's a show of solidarity regardless of what color, and we we really want to let them do their thing. Um, we like what they do, so we, we really support what they do um, with the shirt. <laughs> That's my, my second question was, you showed which way you were leaning, but if you had a preference of what color, if there's a, is there a favorite color in the Notre Dame color wheel, the blue, the gold, the green that you guys would, you have, you enjoy wearing? Well, one thing that we do for the Legion, and we started with basketball, is that we have a green shirt every year. And the Leprechaun Legion is actually going to be giving out um, a new – we have a new Legion logo. Um, I think you have it showing on the YouTube feed, which is pretty cool. But we're going to be making green shirts with that for the students to wear to all of the sporting events except football because we respect the shirt and, you know, all of the charity that's involved with it. And it funds the student uh, activities. So – that's really a good thing that they have there. As for our other sports, we are going to encourage them to wear our green Leprechaun Legion shirt so that, you know, they can match for all those other sports. The one nice thing about Notre Dame also is we do have so many colors as a university, and the shirt committee uses them nicely and manages to, I mean, they make a nice design many years, and uh, so we're not trying to influence the color of the shirt by any means. We, Like Tyler said, we just want to let them do their thing because they do a great job with the design and put a lot of work into it every year. Yeah, we we definitely would totally agree with that. I was just curious. It got a lot of a lot of hype on Twitter during a bit of this dead period, and I was curious how you felt about it. You mentioned football. This week they announced the uh, spring game will be the 21st of April. You got a special plan for the spring game this year? Uh, yeah, we, we quick mentioned this actually when we when we lost you there, but we're, we're uh, definitely planning on putting on a tailgate, and then we also just want to definitely – support the unveiling of the shirt. Yeah, we're going to try and get a great turnout for the shirt unveiling just because obviously all the students are going to wear it, and that's awesome. But since they put a a lot of – they get a lot of good speakers for the unveiling, and they put a lot of work into the ceremony as well as just the creation of the shirt. So we really want the students to get out and appreciate that. So hopefully we'll have some good weather that weekend for it. I'm hoping I'm being there. I guess my last question I wanted to direct to – is what have you found so far and is the biggest obstacle in getting the uh, the incoming freshmen, you know, get on board with the fan base? You know, I don't know that the freshmen actually are the hardest ones to reach out to. They generally come in really <laughs> enthusiastically, and so they come out and support our uh, events pretty well. We, uh, we reach out to them at the student activities night at the beginning of each school year, and we give them a past Legion shirt so that they can match us in green for all the other sports. Um, so then we just encourage them to come out to as many events as possible, spread the word. Uh, you know, we might have a little harder time reaching the seniors. After a couple of years, you know, they they tend to fizzle out. So we're, we try to push them a lot harder than the freshmen. Well, very good. Thank you guys very much. Tyler and Nate, I'm going to pass you guys on to uh, to Jason. He's got a big question I know you wanted to ask you, but, you know, thanks for coming on, and we appreciate all the work you do. Of course. We, we love being on here. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, thanks for being on. Just wanted to, uh, you know, let you know uh, we're we're also going to have a big tailgate for the uh, spring game. So uh, you guys are more more than welcome to stop by there too. We'd love to love to meet each and every one of you. Um, I guess my question is, we've been working real hard, uh, you know, with 
we we're, we're the same way. We you know we tell people that uh, you know we are ND, and when we say we are ND, it means we're everything ND. We're not just you know not just football, not just basketball. We encourage everybody to follow all the sports because you know student athletes in the in the lesser known one you know the lesser attended sports you know they really appreciate the support. And I'm sure that having you guys there is a big boost for them. What would you and, and specifically at football? I know that I'm one of these people that, you know, I last year I attended every home game, and uh, I'm one of these guys that I'll stand through the whole game, and a lot of us that do that get flack. What, what would you recommend or what would you say to people outside of the student section to get them up on their feet the whole game, get them get them involved in the tradition to, and uh, make a Notre Dame stadium a, a place that's that's feared to play and not, you know, not as quiet as it, as it can tend to be? You know, uh we always we always hear that the student section could be louder and more uh, more intimidating. But while we agree with that, we definitely feel that the legion itself feeds off of the crowd. So when the crowd comes to life, and when when uh, when it's the non students that are there really get loud, we tend to have some of our loudest crowds in general because they feed back and forth, and we get a kind of a mutual like, gain in volume and gain in intensity. And I. I think that's really what we're looking for when we're uh, when we're trying to get the crowds involved, both students and non or students and non non students. Yeah, so keep standing. Even if you take a little flack, we definitely appreciate it. Um, it just inspires us to you know make as much as make as much noise in return. Yeah, definitely it does. And, and like I said, uh, I said before you guys came on, we've we've had uh, you know we've had past players on uh, you know Golden Tate and some, some of the other guys, Brian Smith, and and I've asked them you know what you know what when the crowd is really involved in in the in the game and and getting nuts and and really loud and cheering, you know what does it do for you guys? And, and they definitely feed off of that, and you know they take that onto the field with them. So it's definitely a good thing to to make sure the whole place is really up and, and moving and, and getting into it. What do you guys think about the uh, the new uh, since the USC game, the the piped in music and and that kind of stuff? Does that do you feel that that makes a, a really good difference in the uh, in, in the the I want to say the the noise quality of, of Notre Dame Stadium. You know, I, th- I think it does. Uh, with the once we got the music down and once we got the right music choices going, uh, it really can add to the atmosphere. And that that's to take nothing away from the band because part of college football is definitely having the marching band there and that marching band sound. And mm-hmm. I I was actually a member of the band for uh, all the years I was here. And uh, I I don't want to take anything away from that because I think that's definitely part of the game. But sometimes that pipe music is just, it's something different. The the band adds one element and the fight song, there's nothing to take away from that. It's the greatest fight song of any university. But uh, sometimes when you have that piped in music, it's just a different a different atmosphere and it gives people a different reason to stand up and cheer other than just clapping and singing to the fight song. Yeah, definitely it does. Hey, well, you know, I appreciate you guys coming on. It's uh, it's great to have you, and we, you know, as fans ourselves, we we appreciate everything you do. I've been to a lot of home basketball games this year, and you know, I've, I've known about the Leprechaun Legion for for many years. It's really been going on for a while, and now you guys are really making a movement in social media and everything else. So, you know, hats off to you guys and continued success. And you know, we wish you nothing but the best, and we'll be looking out there for you. Thanks, we really appreciate it. Uh, you're, you mentioned that we are uh, making a push on social media, and we just really want to highlight that we think that's certainly the best way to mobilize people now, and we'll certainly be after them on social media to keep them involved. And, you know, we'd love to hear back and have people respond to us and interact, just because when we get ideas, that's just how we improve the atmosphere. Like you said with the music, that was a big push that we heard through that social media, and we really we like we like to take ownership with that, and we really wanted to help make the atmosphere better. Any ideas we get, we kind of do the same thing with those and really try to improve the atmosphere. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And anything we see from you guys, you know, we try to, you know, we've got a, we've got uh, almost 2,700 followers now, so, you know, it's kind of hard to keep up on timelines. But if, uh, you know, if there's anything you guys have going on that, you know, you need some extra push for or, uh, you know, anything we can do to help, you know, always feel free to DM us or email us or, you know, how, just get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help out in any way we can. Sure, we really appreciate that. Well, guys, thanks again for joining us. Uh, let's, we'll keep you posted if anything comes up. We're more, we're more than welcome to come back on any time, and thanks again. 
All right. Thank you for having us. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. You too.